the 10 best Harrison Ford roles that aren't Han Solo or Indiana Jones. Harrison Ford is one of the most recognizable movie stars in the world, in no small part thanks to his iconic roles as Han Solo in Star Wars and globe-trotting archaeologist Indiana Jones. But with a career spanning nearly 60 years, Ford has brought plenty of memorable roles to the silver screen outside of the two Lucasfilm franchises, often to critical and commercial success. Sometimes his beloved roles in blockbuster franchises overshadow his extensive filmography. From tense political thrillers to character-driven dramatic pieces, Ford has displayed an enormous range of talent. Point 10. John Book, Witness. Ford's only Academy Award nomination is for the 1985's Witness. In the crime thriller, Ford portrays police detective John Book, who seeks refuge in the Pennsylvania Amish community after he stumbles across a criminal conspiracy. Book temporarily moves in with a single mother, Rachel Lapp, Kelly McGillis, and her son, protecting them as he recovers from his wounds. As Book and Rachel fall in love, the corrupt police officers track down Book to his rural hideout and look to finish him off. 9. Jack Trainer, Working Girl For as extensive as his film career is and as charming and ruggedly handsome as he appears, Ford, surprisingly, hasn't starred in many romantic comedies. Of the few he has appeared in, the best one is 1988's Working Girl. In the film, he stars alongside Melanie Griffith and Sigourney Weaver amidst a fast-paced Manhattan backdrop. Ford plays Jack Trainer, a corporate figure dating co-worker Catherine Parker, Weaver, only to fall for up-and-coming working professional Tess McGill, Griffith, as they work together on a merger. 8. Rusty Sabish, Presumed Innocent while, The Fugitive, is the most memorable film that saw Ford falsely accused of murder, it was by no means the first. That honor went to 1990's, Presumed Innocent, which leaned more into courtroom drama and investigative thriller territory. Ford stars as Rusty Sabish, an attorney who investigates the murder of a former extramarital lover only to be charged with the murder himself as new evidence comes to light. Packed with plenty of twists and turns, Presumed Innocent, puts Rusty through an emotional roller coaster as the resulting court case becomes increasingly convoluted and immoral. 7. Henry Turner, Regarding Henry Decades before J.J. Abrams worked with Ford on Star Wars, The Force Awakens, the pair collaborated on the 1991 character-driven drama Regarding Henry, written by Abrams and directed by Mike Nichols. The movie follows a moral Manhattan lawyer Henry Turner, Ford, after he barely survives a gunshot wound to the head. The traumatic brain injury forces Henry to relearn how to walk and talk. The resulting retrograde amnesia has him gradually reintroduced to the domestic life he long took for granted. 6. James Marshall, Air Force One, with time, Ford's gruff yet distinguished quality has only grown as he's become a man of a certain age, it's a wonder Ford has only played the President of the United States in a single film, but what a film it is. 1997's Air Force One is perhaps the best action movie to follow the basic die-hard mold of terrorists taking over a location, forcing one man to outsmart them to fight back. That one man in this movie is Ford's president James Marshall, whose eponymous plane is hijacked by terrorists while flying home from Moscow. 5. Ali Fox, The Mosquito Coast After working together on Witness, Ford reunited with director Peter Weir for the 1986 drama, The Mosquito Coast, adapting the 1981 novel of the same name by Paul Theroux. Ford gives his most complex and divisive performance to date as failed inventor Ali Fox, a man who relocates his family deep into the Rhine forests of Central America to design his utopian society. As Fox alienates his family, he clashes with a local missionary who seeks to subjugate the local populace through religion instead of science. 4. Richard Kimball, The Fugitive Adapting the 60s television series of the same name, The Fugitive, features Kimball wrongfully convicted of murdering his wife while the real culprit is on the loose. Escaping from a death row convoy, Kimball evades the authorities while tracking down the killer to clear his name. Ford plays Kimball like a flawed everyman, not a rugged action hero. That makes the whole premise work, with Ford's haunted intensity injecting plenty of energy into this cinematic game of cat and mouse. 3. Norman Spencer, What Lies Beneath What Lies Beneath plays as a whodunit, packed with plenty of twists, that turns the film into a ghost story that keeps its audience guessing until its haunting climax. 
Though the movie turns into a predictable thriller after its big reveal, Ford and Pfeiffer make for an effective on-screen couple that elevates the material. Intrigued by the opportunity, Ford cleared his schedule specifically for this project. He plays Norman with plenty of nuances before openly embracing the dark potential of the role with understated menace. 2. Jack Ryan, Patriot Games slash Clear and Present Danger Ford's Ryan is more of an everyman analyst. He isn't afraid to become directly involved in the action but is at the most comfortable running observations from his CIA office. Patriot Games gives Ford an engaging version of Ryan, with the character's family targeted by an IRA revenge plot. Throughout the film, Ryan has to endure personal tragedy and step up to defend his home. Clear and present danger plays out more like the political thrillers prevalent in the 90s. Still, Ford delivers a driven and grounded performance, confronting corruption as high as the Oval Office. 1. Rick Deckard, Blade Runner slash Blade Runner 2049 A big part of what makes Ford's portrayal of Deckard work is that he's not playing a Han Solo-like character. Instead, he's a hard-luck detective trying to stay alive against physically superior opponents. That desperation, coupled with the film's atmospheric neo-noir setting, makes Deckard feel like a fuller character and more easily believed to be put off balance as the story continues. Ford reprised his role as Deckard in 2017's Blade Runner 2049, bringing even more tragedy to the character as someone forced to hide out for decades to protect the ones he loves while being as irascible as ever. Though Ford only appears in the sequel's final act, he provides some of his best, most emotional acting moments that he has given since the 90s.